Hello, it's Lynette Kalfani Cox. I'm the co-founder of AskTheMoneyCoach.com. Coming at you today with another question from one of my readers who wanted to know about what she should do because she's in a lot of debt and she wants to figure out a solution. So let me read you the question that she asked me. You know, I like to do this just so you can kind of get a little flavor, a little context here, and maybe it'll help you too. Maybe you can tell somebody about what you learned. Maybe you can pass along a tip to a friend. You never know. So this woman said, in 2008, my husband died without any life insurance. At that time, my credit was good. So I put the funeral on my credit card. My oldest son was supposed to help with the payments, but I lost my job, he lost his job, and now what was a $10,000 debt is a $20,000 debt. I don't even know how to begin to get myself out of this mess. Can you help? Well, first I wanna say I'm really sorry for the loss of your husband. I, I can only imagine how stressful and emotionally draining uh, that must be. And obviously the loss of a loved one is a financial stress as well, um, which is why some of this is a lesson to all of us about life insurance and in that you really never know when you might pass away. So, so each and every one of us, especially if you're married or if you have children, minor children in particular, kids who are under the age of 18 or 21 in some states, really, you really should think about getting some life insurance. And you'll see other um, videos on this site and other articles I have on askthemoneycoach.com talking about the importance of life insurance. But to give you some advice about this particular debt, you know, obviously this has been a, a problem that's been brewing for years. You said that your husband passed in 2008. We're now in 2014. So this is six plus years ago and the debt has only accrued. Um, I question whether or not the debt is still on that same credit card or whether or not you've made some other arrangements or done something else along the way. Either way, this is what you need to do to try to lower the debt. I would try to negotiate with these creditors if it's one creditor still just that credit card company and try to see if you can get this behind you once and for all. Now, I don't know if you've tried this. I don't know if you've tried to negotiate on your own, um, but you said that clearly you don't know what to do here and that you lost your job. So the fact that you lost your job, you didn't say when, I assume you, you, you still are not working. I don't know. You didn't really say here, but you might have a little bit of leverage with your creditor and or creditors because you can honestly legitimately, truthfully, with 100% moral, clear conscience say, listen, I'm sorry, but I just don't have it. I don't have a job. My son doesn't have a job. My husband passed away. I don't have the resources to pay this. I want to honor my obligations. I want to be able to pay off what I owe, but realistically, you know, you can't squeeze blood from a turnip, right? So, Ask your creditor in question whether or not they would be willing to accept partial payments or reduced amount as payment in full. And in effect, you're trying to settle this debt directly with the creditor. Now, you should be aware of the pros and cons of this. The pro is, what if the creditor says, you know what, all right, you owe us $20,000 now, but I'll take 10 cents on the dollar. I'll take $2,000 as payment in full. We'll call it even, so to speak, and I won't bother you about this anymore. You might not even have $2,000, but maybe you can say, I can make $500 payments this month, $500 the next month, $500 in the following month, and then a fourth and final $500 payment. I don't know. Again, you didn't disclose anything about your financial position besides the fact that you have $20,000 in debt and you have no job. So do reach out to the creditors and see if they would be willing to work a deal, so to speak, with you. If that doesn't help, you might go to a credit counseling agency. The credit counseling agents and the debt management companies of the world, the legitimate nonprofit HUD certified ones, some of them charge absolutely nothing for their help and their expertise. They'll help you to work out a budget. Um, they'll help you to get lower interest rates on the credit card debt that you do have. Now, you didn't mention any other credit card any other credit card bills, but I assume that since you put, you know, this 
funeral expenses on this one credit card and you said I previously had good credit previously suggests to me that I don't have credit good credit right now and you probably have other credit card bills too so you might be a good candidate for a debt management program in order to help you to get out of debt if none of that works negotiating on your own trying to rejigger your budget and trying to come up with something especially since you're not working you may even think about bankruptcy now I know sometimes people hear bankruptcy and they think oh my god I've hit rock bottom this is so awful and I don't make this suggestion lightly but in your case I would say if alternative A, B, and C don't work then yes think about alternative D which is bankruptcy only use it as a last resort only if the other methods that I just mentioned don't work for you but for someone who has no job I'm not sure how old you are you didn't indicate um, I don't know how close you are to retirement. I, you, you, I assume you're at least in your 50s because you have a grown son that you mentioned and your spouse you were previously married to has passed away. You have a lot of financial and personal stuff that you're dealing with right now. And sometimes bankruptcy can give you that fresh start that you need to start over and to kind of clear the slate of old debts and to begin anew. So again, I'm very sorry for your loss, but I hope that some of these tips have been helpful to you and perhaps to someone else out there who's struggling with the same issue. This has been Lynette Kalfani cox Again, I'm the co-founder of the free financial advice site, AskTheMoneyCoach.com.